the internet. For today's video, we're going to do a quick, easy recipe. It's going to be healthy fettuccine alfredo. So it has been a super busy day for me. I was trying to get this video filmed earlier when I still had lots of sunlight to light me, and that did not happen. I've been cooking all day long. As some of y'all may know, I, I've started doing doorstep delivery meals here in Austin to help bring people healthy, quality food during this quarantine. And hopefully it will go on after quarantine because, because we always eat healthy, quality food, right? And I don't know if you can see him, we have a new addition, a new plant baby to our plant family. I got a little bamboo yesterday. His name is Charlie. So new addition to my kitchen. I'm so happy. I love plants. So in my fettuccine alfredo today, I'm going to be adding mushrooms and asparagus. So I've just got those, the mushrooms and the asparagus cooking in a pan back here. I'm not doing anything fancy with them. I'm just water sauteing them in my pan with a little salt and pepper. That's it, really simple. And for the noodles today, I'm going to use garlic black pepper fettuccine that I buy at the farmer's market. We have a really awesome stand at the farmer's market that thankfully is still out there bringing us good food. A lot of stands that are usually at the market have not been there the last couple weeks, but these guys have been there. So I'm so grateful, I'm so happy. They have lots of different flavors and shapes of pasta. I really like them a lot. And I'll leave a link to them down below. And their pasta is really simple ingredients. They use whole drum wheat, so it's a wholer form instead of just like a white pasta flour. So it's a little bit healthier than store-bought box noodles, which I love. And like I said, the sauce today is gonna be super, super easy. All you're gonna need is white beans, cashews. If you don't have a high-speed blender, you'll wanna soak them overnight. Whole garlic cloves, nutritional yeast, salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, and lactic acid. I will also leave a link to that down below. I buy it on Amazon and it is lactic from beets. Gives you a really tangy, cheesy flavor. But if you don't have that, just use extra lemon juice. So you'll also need lemon juice, veggie stock, and plain plant milk. And you can find the full recipe down below with lactic or without. We're gonna add everything to the blender. You can include vegetables if you want. I highly recommend course including vegetables in every meal so you can add any vegetables that you like to this fettuccine sometimes I like to do a handful of spinach sometimes I like to do sometimes I like to do carrots or bell peppers or any other vegetable that sounds tasty at the time and we're gonna blend this until smooth you might need the plunger to get it going a little bit but once you get it going, it should blend all the way smooth and you want to blend it until it is totally smooth and shiny. And the nice thing, if you have a high speed blender like I do, I can just let it go until it gets hot and then I don't even have to heat up the sauce. That's pretty darn warm. Take the lid off, it's actually steaming. to me that if you can see the pan back there, you saw a mound of mushrooms. I am making more sauce than this. I am making a large amount. 
so that we can have it later in the week as well as plating, as well as packaging some up for delivery this week. It is meal prep Monday, so we're not just putting a mound of mushroom in a little bit of fettuccine alfredo. They cook down a lot though. Okay. I'm going to finish up the mushrooms and the asparagus. Cook off the noodles. You know how to cook noodles if you don't follow the package instructions. I will meet you back here to show you the finished product, plate it up, all that fun, delicious looking stuff. Yeah, like I said, quick and easy recipe this week. I am super busy this week. I wanted to make sure I still got you a yummy and healthy recipe. And you know what? I know a lot of people out there I know a lot of people out there don't have a lot of time to make dinner, or maybe you do right now, but I love making bean sauces like this because I can make creamy, I can make what is traditionally high fat, not healthy cream sauces. I can make out of beans and cashews, and it's just as delicious and incredibly healthier. I do like cashew sauces, and I know that there's a lot of I know that there's a lot of Alfredo sauces, a lot of vegan Alfredo sauces out there that are made out of straight cashews, but that's a little too high fat for me. I like to keep it fat a little bit lower than that. So this is a really nice compromise doing mostly beans and then a little bit of cashews. You still get that really creaminess, but you get a lot of, but you get a lot of good stuff from the beans. And I am traditionally bad at eating beans. So this is a great new way to get beans in my diet. Okay, like I said, I will meet you back here when we plate it up, when we plate it up for show and tell. So I just threw the cooked pasta with a couple spoonfuls of the sauce and the veggies in a pan, heated it up for a minute, and then topped it with my flax hemp parmesan. Add a little parsley for garnish. And I can't wait to dig into this very filling, healthy fettuccine alfredo. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you make this recipe at home. Tag me on Instagram. Let me see your recreations. And let me know how quarantine is going. I hope everyone is staying safe, healthy. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Share this recipe with your friends. And subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a delicious recipe. I'm the Vegan Rainbow. Bye, y'all.